A toddler is reliving one of the scariest moments of his young life for both him and his family. Cooper Irwin walked away from his family on Wednesday in Athol. He spent hours stranded in the woods, worried he was lost forever. KXY 4 Tanya Dahl talked with Cooper's family today. This is bear, wolf, and coyote country, but one little man was unstoppable, despite over two miles of very rough terrain. We'll be just playing on that little playground. Cooper Irwin, along with his identical twin brother and cousins, were out building a fort on this place that Wednesday afternoon when the toddler vanished. I was getting in the house, getting the blankets, they he was gone. Two and a half year olds are curious, but when his family couldn't find him, were you worried mm, for your cousin? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very worried. Panic mode set in. We searched the water, the buildings, and you know, about 20 minutes after 20 minutes of looking, that's when we notified 911 that it kind of set in that he is not <laughs> right around the immediate areas. While Cooper's family, local law enforcement, and dozens of volunteers were searching for him. The tyke had wandered into nearby woods. His uncle says through a gate that was left open because of an irrigation project. And for a normal two-year-old kid, most of them, they get scared, they cry, they want their mom and dad. Um, and, and, and sound travels here, and we were yelling his name. And for him not to even be scared, concerned, crying, was amazing. His family believes a toddler hiked over a mountain, crossed a creek, his little legs covering quite a distance. It's about 1.57 miles as a bird flies. If we were to drive it right now, it's about a little over six miles. About four hours later, Cooper was found near the intersection of Tweet and Good Hope by a neighbor who saw him wandering along the roadside on her way to work. He was quickly reunited with his parents and twin brother. It's hard to believe that he even made it through these woods. You know, it's that to me it's a miracle. Cooper walked away from the ordeal with just a few scratches. His uncle says the little boy was focused on two things. Carting along a wet shoe, worried he'd get in trouble for losing it, and looking for his cousin Austin. Our kids have already named him Super Cooper. Now this family's making it a point to stick together. Every door is going to be closed outside. That's what I'm going to do. In Kootenai County, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.